What's up, y'all? This your boy, SIJ, Silence's Guy, Entertainment, News, Freestyles, Media, Debunking, Illuminati Claims, Original Content, the whole nine. Right now, you know I keep it a buck. If you ain't subscribed before, obviously you ain't get Anyway, this episode right here is part three of the best web series YouTube has to offer. Part one and part two is in the description below, along with the link to every web series that I mentioned so far. Now, real quick, definitely hit that like button. I only ask you to hit the like button, not because I'm trying to get a bunch of likes and I'm one of those numbers guy. I only ask you to hit the like button because other people could see it on your feed because when you like something, that's sharing it as well. So sometimes nobody got time to fill in the Facebook description and shit when you're trying to share something. So that's an easy way to share it right there if you hit the like button. And then if you hit the subscribe button, you can check out future episodes that I'm going to be doing surrounding this topic as well because I'm also going to be coming out with a lot. I have a lot planned for this web series thing. And it's actually helping them out and it's helping me out. So we all growing at the end of the day. And plus, I make sure that this shit is in the description because I ain't trying to get copyrighted or nothing like that because I ain't no fuckboy. I give credit where credit is due. I'm not going to talk about the shit and then not have your video or not have your channel at least in the, in the description below. So you at least know exactly where to go and you ain't got to search all over YouTube. You already dig what I'm saying. Now, this is the perfect video for people who are probably tired of Netflix because, A, they overdrafted your account, or every time you get Netflix, you realize, why the fuck did I get Netflix? What is this? I've seen this already, or it just ain't got shit worth watching right now video. This video right here is going to present five or six or seven more well-established web series that you can fall back and binge watch or have something to bust it up at the job because ain't shit to talk about these days anyway. Shit, let's begin. Number one. Now, Mayhem is a web series filmed in Elizabeth, New Jersey. I like this web series because A, the music actually isn't that bad, B, because they mix it up when they expose the fact that cops be into the criminal activity as well, and C, the first episode made me binge watch the whole web series. Now this dude right here, he be booking niggas like Dr. Seuss in the neighborhood. He's the, one of the main characters as well on the antagonist side. However, the show is primarily focused around a character named Reek. Reek is a big time drug dealer who's working with the cops, but nobody knows it yet. Now here's the twist. This is Rick and Debo, the two cops that Reek work for. The black guy is Reek's brother. But anyway, instead of arresting the criminals, they are the criminals. They even take it a step further and got some place called the waterfront where they take the criminals to discipline them when they don't give them what they want. Gun in my face, push this in the crib, tie us up. What you want me to do? Anyway, these two characters right here is named I and Forgot because I forgot and I watch way too many of these damn web series to keep up with the names. But anyway, I fucked with the web series. I just forget the names. But these are two main characters that the Water Boys stay messing with along with this guy as well because they known for getting money and catching bodies in the hood. So that was number one. Now for number two, I'm going to introduce something different because I know that YouTube is 74% white teenagers and it don't just cater to black people. So I got to introduce something different as well because I'm not the only person, like my race ain't the only race that exists on this planet. And there's other web series out there like part four. I'm going to introduce like all, no, I'm not just going to do that. No, because I lose half my fan base. But anyway, I'm going right now, I'm going to introduce number two. It's something different. It's unique and you gonna like the style of video. I guarantee you, you watch a couple of these videos, wow, ha, and you'll enjoy the whole damn thing. Like, I sat there and binge watched every video, one, two, three, four, five of this whole web series, and I guarantee you, I already know you ain't see this web series. I already know, I guarantee you, you ain't see this web series. This web series, if this get over a thousand views, they're gonna appreciate this one right here. So anyway, without further ado, number two. Wait for it. Dark Passages. Now this is my shit. Weird lady comes on. Sometimes it got somebody different. But next thing you know. Shit gets real. First episode had me like what the fuck is about to go on here. All of a sudden dude picks up a letter of some sort. Dude walking frightened with his hands up. What the fuck is Nips fucking Logma? Nips fucking Logma. Exactly. Exactly. If I play any more of the web series, I'll probably ruin that episode right there, but every episode is unique. 
they got something different they creative they innovative they got a different style there is no you know nobody selling crack or nothing like that no offense to the ones who are because they teach a certain lesson but these web series this web series right here dark passages and since the view count is so low nobody really know about it but they deserve more views that you ever see a channel that deserve more views like mine's but yeah uh, they deserve more views i'm telling you that every episode well not every episode i say two is corny but out of like 16 or something like that you can't lose with that one but anyway we're gonna go on to number three your boy Fender, man. I got the the street, sad. back to the hood bronx new york you dig lanes nigga now if you ain't hear about lanes definitely go check it out because it's one of the professional the professional web series good camera angles plot scheme resolution all that climax all that shit we learned in high school definitely got a good script you know what i'm saying whoever the can't like whoever's behind it definitely know what they doing you know we got marlin which i believe is the main character and he is he got to hold it down for him and his little sister and i believe his cousin phantom who be selling music and his music actually is good and his little sister she in school which spreads a positive message you dig and then you got the og and he got some fredro star looking boy and you know a nigga from new york if you look like Fredro Starr, but back to the script. Anyway, you got the, the OG, he got his own problems and he going through things. And you got Marlon who be trying to help OG get out of the problems and stuff. But he be getting himself into some shit. And then you got Mitch, which is the young boy who's Marlon homie or I believe cousin who be trying to save Mitch him right there out of a lot of drama or whatever. And he be still getting himself into drama. He one of those knuckleheads who don't know how to learn. But anyway and there go phantom again music definitely is popping i'll be listening to it on the low i ain't gonna lie play it keep doing your thing anyway that's number three and we're gonna go to on to number four but anyway that was the lanes if you ain't heard <laughs> yeah you feel it you know what's about to drop i know you watched this whole season Target, where this guy named Murder work in the sales department. It's like, no, I'm just joking. Now, Target, for real, for real, this joint is a binge watch. You're not going to sit here and watch Target without, watch one episode without watching the whole damn thing. It's based around one character named Playboy Ronnie, and then you got another character named Murder, and Playboy Ronnie can't get enough of being a Playboy, and Murder can't get enough of Murder. Murder, he pretty much run the neighborhood. He the OG, you know what I'm saying? He got all the work he he know everybody and he sets everybody against each other yes even his friends that or, or people who think they his friends he pretty much sets them up in the worst way and nobody know he's done he's doing it he's knocking people off left and right and every time you turn around they're right back in front of his face like hey man you know what happened the other day and he was the one who did it so pretty much this is a binge watch that you will definitely enjoy not only that it's not focused around the whole damn ass you know what i'm saying where your woman just think we watch it because it's a bunch of naked broads or whatever Whatever. this first episode start out with murder the big guy right there in the blue lying to bigger you could tell by his face that he, he's listening to some fuck shit from murder but anyway he murder a tell bigger some crazy shit like playboy ronnie did this and did that and then murder go to playboy ronnie and tell playboy ronnie bigger did this and did that and said this and said that and pretty much he got them going head to head with each other but he's friends with them but don't give a damn pretty much trying to get them knocked off so he could take over the neighborhood and be the top dog for real for real but he can't kill them himself because he want to still be around the neighborhood without being known for the guy who knocked them off because you already know how that shit go and number five on the list you guys is rock boy empire now i had to throw this one in there because it's 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 pretty much a, a already established group of of gentlemen who seem to have their shit together already and had, who's been selling drugs for a long time and it's kind of at the part where they can actually retire or keep going on. So I'm watching this one and it took me a while to get into it because it's a little, it's real chill. It's, it's not really like fast paced, oh I'm about to shoot you well, even though it is death in each seat, in each episode, but I will say it's, it's more relaxed old old school kind of like ogs riding around in the the looking like rough riders and shit like they, they be riding around in the motorcycles or whatever the fancy joints and shit so it's an old head joint but i fucks with it just just look how it come on nice professional 
the music sounding all copyrighted. That's why I'm not playing it. You know what I'm saying? It got the nice little HD going on yeah, in association with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell that you're about to be in for a nice, well put together, well scripted. Oh, snap, this guy named Meatloaf and Face. Meatloaf Face, that's pretty funny. But you, you could tell that you went to a nice, well scripted, professional web series right here as well. This is one that you would definitely enjoy. First episode, you are, you, matter of fact, the first, I'll say, three minutes is a real intense scene where they start out with like an intro to the ending you dig where you can pretty much see where it's going to go at the uh, at the end of the season because of the first thing that happened is him having a conversation with somebody who just got out of jail you know what i'm saying well he long story short I, that'll ruin it if i talk about that part but pretty much the boy just got out of jail old head he a og in the game and he getting back with the group that he started with or whatever and they looked out for him showed love gave him everything that he needed or whatever then you got this guy who's also a main character um i forgot their names i apologize or i, I didn't write down every single name because it's a lot of them but anyway this guy's also a main character and he he goes through it because he's established or well established and when people violate him it ain't happened in so long that he can't even believe it you know you got those type of people who live this lifestyle and think that they can't be touched or they turn invincible just because they got a lot of money you already know the type but anyway definitely a great web series as well and that's number five I know the professional chiller and the double up belong on here as well. But how corny is that if I just come What's going on you guys? It's your boy SIG. I got the top five best web series for you. You got money and violence, respect, life, the professional chiller, the double up. Like, that's mad corny. Time to keep it a buck. Anyway, a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel because of the conscious information that I also disseminate on this platform. And to them, I understand that most of these web series that I subscribe to literally can be deemed worldly subject matter and ungodly. However, I beg to differ. Money and violence you learn not to trust nobody and to stay your ass on the sidewalks. The terms you learn don't come out of jail and go back to the street life. Target you learn keep your friends close and enemies closer. Yes, I said it right the first time. Close friends can teach you people you love can hurt you the most. The double up teach you don't trust everybody you sleep with. Mayhem teach you yeah it should be a cop instead of a drug dealer. Project Heat teach you to stay with heat in the projects. And respect life is self explanatory the name speak for itself. That's keeping it a buck. I'm out of here. I ain't never Every rapper that I hear wanna be trapper of the year But instead they wanna act of the year All that reacting what you hear Flip the page you get booked this chapter With a tear the world strapped Because watching your back's your new career Your competition gonna really try to make you disappear The same themes that you serve Gonna whisper in the air For a couple of rocks that you get in it and wear And then a couple of knocks You blow your spiff up in the air And then you get out of your chair You like who there You grab your Glock because you know you gotta always be prepared Because if niggas got to drop on you That could be your rare And then this situation that's what it appears so you scared but don't want to admit it because this is the type of shit that the game come with so they kick in the door start thumping it it's three against one and shit you hide behind the comforter blasting two but only hit one of them Dark i know what i just said hard to hit anything to do with spirituality it, 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 it didn't even out but it is what it is that shit was smooth as a motherfucker but anyway this your boy sij your boy from philly I pretty much got a plethora of other videos that you can watch and enjoy on this channel. I don't just stick to the web series thing. I have lots of different topics. You will find a how to make money video to a debunking Illuminati claim video to a me just giving advice or, or teaching you how to grow your channel as well. Like I'm always doing something on this channel, keeping my subscribers entertained and keeping my subscribers, period. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real hard on this website, especially being black. I'm not saying that as no race card or nothing. It really is hard as a young black brother trying to get somewhere on YouTube because I'm not all exciting and in the suburbs and outside all the time, but I damn sure make sure that I stay on topic and I give you what you came for and I give what you, you know, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, and you know exactly what the fuck the video is going to present. But anyway, I'm still new at this. This is hilarious because I'll be making my videos all professional and shit. And the ones where I'm just sitting in the chair talking to you guys like this, one on one, get more views than me putting in a hell of a lot of effort, like a lot more effort. You seen part one and part two. Them videos took at least over a day, not not 24 hours. I mean over like like at least 36, 48 hours. Like 
them videos really took time to put together just to put me on the screen the green screen thing that is doing this youtube thing is kind of like the whole thing is real vague you know what i'm saying but anyway if i didn't have a foundation which is my religion and the, the, the rhetoric you know the stuff that i put out here on there i try to teach a little bit i'm not trying to create no cult i'm not converting nobody enough i just give a little information of what i learned over the years that's about it i ain't trying to turn nobody into nothing but anyway if you like the channel definitely subscribe if you like my other content definitely subscribe i'm not just some one hit wonder on here i got a couple viral videos not bragging but i do this you know what i'm saying i really try to put effort into my videos or whatever and i didn't want to put too much into these videos because i don't know what these guys don't want me to put you know what i'm saying you can't do a review you know that lady with the fro for money and violence every uh, when season two came out and all we saw was the lady with the fro doing the reviews and stuff i don't want to do the reviews and everything because i don't want to give away too much of the uh the whole damn season or whatever the case may be so I, I, i'm gonna try to get my shit together on this channel and to keep things running smooth definitely follow me on twitter the link in the description below by the way the links to all those web series in the description below as well so you ain't even got to search all through youtube to find them this your boy sij i keep it real on this channel i keep it 100 with you guys i'm even truthful on how youtube runs everything i'm out of here peace